left. Would you like to add anything? Yeah, I would. The, the idea that somehow we are uh, this failing country. I never heard a president talk like this before. We, we're the envy of the world. Name me a single major country president who wouldn't trade places with the United States of America for all our problems and all our opportunities. We're the most progressive country in the world in getting things done. We're the strongest country in the world. We're a country in the world who keeps our word, and everybody trusts us, all of our allies, and our and our op, and our those who he calls up to from Kim Jong Un, he sends love letters to, and Putin, etc. They don't want to screw around with us. Thank you, uh, former President Trump. To follow up, you would be 82 at the end of your second term. What do you say to voters who have concerns about your capabilities to serve? Well, I took two tests, cognitive tests. I aced them, both of them, as you know. I, we made it public. He took none. I'd like to see him take one, just one, a real easy one. Like, go through the first five questions, he couldn't do it. But I took two cognitive tests. I took physical exams every year. And, you know, we knock on wood wherever we may have wood that I'm in very good health. I just won two club championships, not even senior two regular club championships. To do that, you have to be quite smart and you have to be able to hit the ball a long way. And I do it. He doesn't do it. He can't hit a ball 50 yards. He challenged me to a golf match. He can't hit a ball 50 yards. Uh, I think I'm in very good shape. I feel that I'm as in good a shape as I was 25, 30 years ago. Actually, I'm probably a little bit lighter, but I'm in as good a shape as I was uh, years ago, I feel very good. I feel the same. But I took, I was willing to take a cognitive test. And you know what? If I didn't do well, I aced him. Dr. Ronnie Jackson, who's a great guy when he was White House doctor. And then I took another one, a similar one. And both, one of them said they'd never seen anybody ace him. Thank you. President Biden? You can see he is six foot five and only 223 pounds, or 235 pounds. Well, you said six four, 200. Well, anyway, that's what you're, well, anyway, just take a look at what he says he is and take a look at what he is. Look, I'd be happy to have a driving contest with him. The reason I got my handicap, which when I was vice president, down to a six. And, and but by the way, I told you before, I'm happy to play golf. You can carry your own bag. Think you can do it? That's the biggest lie. He's a six handicap of all. I was an eight handicap. Yeah. Eight. Mm -hmm. I have, you know, how many, how, what, I've seen Trump? your swing. I know your swing. Okay, let's let's, let's not act like children. President Trump, we're going to Let's rounds. not act like children. You Do you have a, a specific concern that voters have about you? Will you pledge tonight that once all legal challenges have been exhausted, that you will accept the results of this election, regardless of who wins, and you will say right now that political violence in any form is unacceptable? Well, I shouldn't have to say that, but of course I believe that. It's totally unacceptable. And if you would see my statements that I made on Twitter at the time, and also my statement that I made in the Rose Guard, you would say it's one of the strongest statements you've ever seen. In addition to the speech I made, in front of, I believe, the largest crowd I've ever spoken to, and I will tell you, nobody ever talks about that. They talk about a relatively small number of people that went to the Capitol and in many cases were ushered in by the police. And as Nancy Pelosi said, it was her responsibility, not mine. She said that loud and clear. But the answer is, uh, if the election is fair, free, and I want that more than anybody. And I'll tell you something. I wish he was a great president because I wouldn't be here right now. I'd be at one of my many places enjoying myself. I wouldn't be under indictment because I wouldn't have been his political appointment, you know, opponent because he indicted me because I was his opponent. I wish he was a great president. I would rather have that. I wouldn't be here. I don't mind being here. But the only reason I'm here is he's so bad as a president that I'm gonna make America great again. We're gonna make America great again. We're a failing nation right now. We're a seriously failing nation. And we're a failing nation because of him. His policies are so bad. Uh, his military policies are uh, insane. They're insane. These are wars that will never end with him. He will drive us into World War III, and we're closer to World War III than anybody can imagine. We are very, very close to World War III, and he's driving us there. And Kim Jong-un and uh, President Xi of China, Kim Jong-un of North Korea, uh, all of these, Putin, they don't respect him. They don't fear him. They have nothing going with this gentleman, and he's going to drive us into World War III.